You know, you guys are still here? Alright, good. I always gotta double check to make sure the comments aren't too late so I know you guys are here. <laughs> but I wanna talk about something for real. Do you guys ever go to college? Just out of curiosity. Because I actually did try to go to college, but I, I was just too immature to do it, to be honest. Like, basically, how it started is, um, my parents were always telling me I should go to college. And when I graduated from high school, I was like, nah, the first thing I want to do is get a job. And uh, that's when I started working at Dollar Tree. And then I ended up quitting Dollar Tree and going to college. But I primarily used it as an excuse to not have to work. And, um, basically I was super immature over there, always slacking, not really trying, not thinking about my future. I ended up doing a programming class, right? It was like HTML practice, and I, I learned a little bit about it, and I, but I forget it at this point. I wasn't paying too much attention, but, um, I was basically looking at YouTube and class. I'd be watching, like, funny videos on YouTube and trying to hold back laughter in class and then the teacher will call me out and I get fucking embarrassed as shit. I also had like a thing against authority back then. So I was kind of rebellious in general. But uh, the point is like, I haven't thought about college in years because I've just been thinking in terms of, well, I just gotta get a job and then try to pay the bills. But of course I want to move out and live on my own before too long. Hopefully next year. Once this wedding is done, I can save up for that. I ended up going at, uh, Manatee Technical College initially. But if I ever went back to college, I wouldn't want to go to the same school, because it would just be fucking embarrassing. Embarrassing as shit. But, the point is, I've been thinking about how boring my life is, and I feel like I'm not really going anywhere. Like, basically all I really have is, like, YouTube. As far as like future related stuff goes and trying to put out good streams i guess trying to improve in, at starcraft 2 counts as well to a degree i guess i want more like i remember back in the old days you know back in high school i used to think about like writing stories or trying out drawing and stuff and like i just kind of lost interest and i just don't have the drive to do shit but, you know, in life, like, everyone wants to make their mark in history somehow, you know, whether it's, like, telling a really good story that's, like, their their own kind of work and their own style, or, you know, I used to think about being, like, a game designer. I tried out Game Maker a couple, two, three times, but I never... I'm basically too lazy to, like, commit to learning how to, like, script properly, like, entirely reliant on YouTube videos, which is useful to a degree, but... It's like whenever I ran into a bump in the road, I, I just kind of gave up and moved on and got bored. I always have a problem with like trying to be productive and um, just getting bored as shit and just moving on and like watching YouTube or something. <laughs> this is good music for this time to talk because it is kind of sad. But um, I do want more in all seriousness. And it's actually difficult for me to even live stream sometimes. Like, you ever get this Final Fantasy level where, like, it's really hard just to get yourself to live stream? Because I haven't really... Because I know there are, like, certain playthroughs I should continue, but... I just haven't really felt like doing it, man. Like, Dark Souls 3, Terry's been asking me multiple times to get back to that. And it's like, I do enjoy Dark Souls 3, but... I don't know. <laughs> And even with StarCraft 2, like, I do, I'm kind of enjoying getting back into it. Um, I always have ladder anxiety when I play StarCraft 2, so it's, sometimes I do gotta force myself to play it. Like, like in this particular live stream, honestly, I ended up forcing myself to play it, but, um, see how long have I been streaming? An hour and a half? It's a little bit longer than the last stream. You can always just be a paid shill. The stream is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Hee <laughs> hee XD. I guess of all the things I've thought about doing, like, the one consistent thing I've always wanted to do is, like, writing. You know, 
Like, I, I do want to tell a story of some sort, and I do have, like, ideas of what I want to do. When I was doing Rakushi Pan 0396, I actually had, like, a Facebook page where I, I used to talk about my ideas for storytelling. Sometimes it all hinges on motivation, yeah. That's, like, my number one issue, is just getting the motivation to do what needs to be done. And a part of me... Like, a part of the reason why I slack off is like, oh, I, I gotta do YouTube, though. Because I don't want to leave you guys hanging or, or nothing. In terms of content. I mean, even in terms of, like, the streams, I feel like I could be doing better. Because I, I always, like, self-doubt as far as, like, should I... Should I try to be funnier? Or... Like, when I'm playing StarCraft 2, I notice I tend to not talk too much. I'm sure there's a lot of it in this stream. This shit, though. Where I'm muting the mic, probably never gonna end. <laughs> like, it, it's almost like, a, it feels like a biological thing. Like, I just can't fucking help it. Like, honestly, I fucking hate doing this. Just muting the mic to, like, do my thing. It drives me crazy. I don't know how much you guys care, but... The last thing you want to do is make streaming feel like work. Yeah. I mean, that's ultimately, like... That's usually the biggest thing with, um... Live streaming when I do it, or make content in general, is like... It's just to... Try to express myself and just have fun, but... At the same time, it's like... A lot of people that are successful with YouTube or... Or live streaming, they put in the work, you know? They put in the hours... Like, if you want to get big, you gotta do a shitload of streams, you gotta do a shitload of advertising. And I did do, like, an advertisement campaign not too long ago, but I... I mean, it didn't go on for very long, but I... It didn't really help me too much, I feel. And I'm hoping to, to get, like, 450 subs before too long, but I don't even know if I can do that. It's been pretty slow going, as far as, like, new subs. And I noticed, like, there's always this thing where... I, like, see the notifications, you got a sub, and then, like, a week later, I, like, lose a sub. And it's like, was that the same guy that subbed recently, or just another random person that unsubbed? But why? Why do they unsub? Just do what makes you, you? Yeah. Uh, and that's, like, the other thing that I recognize is a problem with my, um, content creation. Is the fact that, like, there's so much variety. Like, I like doing variety, because I get bored doing the same shit over and over, but... At the same time, like... Like, look at Asmongold, you know? You want to watch World of Warcraft content, you generally go to Asmongold. Although recently, he's, he's changed to FF14. Tyler1 does variety every now and then, but... He mostly does League of Legends. Personally, I would like it if he, he did more variety, but... That being said, like, that strategy of, like, doing one game constantly probably helps, because League of Legends is pretty popular. Like, when you when you go to a content creator, you're getting something in particular out of it. You know, whether it's StarCraft or League, or, or maybe you sub to someone for political takes or debates or something, like with Destiny. Don't you make yourself depressed over this, otherwise me and the boys are going to have to come and inject you with happiness. <laughs> also, whatever you do, don't compare yourself to DSP. I mean, technically, you could argue that that's good in the sense of, like, here's what not to do as a content creator. But, um... You know, while we're on the topic of DSP, um... Sometimes I, like, see people, like, get compared to DSP immediately, like, just because they're raging. And it's, like... Raging is not unique to DSP, and that's not even, like, what makes him as infamous as he is. Like, yeah, he's, um... Like, look at Idra and Artosis. I think they're fantastic content creators. And they're known for raging. Artosis honestly kind of shocks me with how much he rages. He's the guy I've been like linking in your DMs with the Artosis Rage compilation. It's funny because like he's usually not known for that. Usually he's he's known for like being uh, a StarCraft commentator. But a couple of years ago he started getting into Brood War Remastered and uh, just turned out he's a crazy motherfucker when he plays Brood War. <laughs> but. Mm. Because sometimes I question myself as far as, like, hmm, am I raging too much? Because that is something that I get self-conscious about, to be honest. But it's like, if other content creators can do it, and it helps, like, it doesn't necessarily hurt them. Like, obviously there's going to be people always making fun of you if you rage. I, I haven't really been raging much when I play StarCraft 2. Because for the most part, 
I, I guess it just comes down to the fact that I've been smurfing a lot. I haven't really been playing like my proper MMR, but I'm still kind of getting my my balls rocked. Like when it gets to the late game scenarios, my brain just kind of falls apart. I guess I'm so used to like usually in like low elo. Like the game is decided in like the first 10-15 minutes. I'm not used to it going beyond that point. A crazy bastard that's part of the group. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, the, the point I was making earlier about DSP is like, um, I don't think it's fair to like compare people to DSP just because they rage. Which is something you've said every now and then. <laughs> like, I know he's like the classic whiny guy that blames everyone, but DSP is really, like, his negative image is probably mostly affected by the fact that he, like, scams people. Less so the raging. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't help depending on the game. Because honestly, most people find it entertaining when they're raging. Most people don't take it too seriously, generally. Although he did get some pretty toxic comments on YouTube. Don't give yourself burnout. You just gotta keep yourself motivated and take a break when you can. Yeah. You know, I don't really want to, like, get into it. Because I hate, like, building up, Oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And then I'm too fucking lazy to follow through on it. But, um... I'm just throwing out there, like, I have been indulging in writing a little bit on my off time. And maybe if I can get it fleshed out more. Because that's always, like, the biggest issue, is, like, fleshing out the plot and the details. And trying to make sure, like, everything is logically consistent with the world and, and stuff. And don't even get me started on dialogue. Honestly, the story I'm writing right now, like, I'm not even fucking bothering with dialogue. Because it... Like, um, I'm basically doing, like, first-person narrative, recounting events kind of thing. Um, I'm actually trying to do a horror story, and maybe I can use that for Halloween. Only thing people know DSP for touching his pickle on stream, and that's all they remember him for. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how, I guess people will never forget that. He's gonna have that hanging over his head. He's gonna be 90 years old on his deathbed. And some motherfucker's gonna walk up to him like, Hey, remember that time you jerked off on stream, DSP? Never gonna let him down on that shit. But yeah, like, sometimes I debate in my head, like, um... If I want to do any content other than streams... Like, what's a good way to do that? And sometimes I'm like, well, I could do reviews. Because there are some things I'm genuinely wanting to rant about for a while, but... I guess it would be more satisfying if I actually made my own thing. Like, it feels more unique in that way rather than, like, ranting about another person's work. Not that I'm trying to, like, discount that as, like, a way to express yourself. Obviously, it is. I guess the story thing matters more to me. And, of course, there's always the struggle of, like, I have money. Do I want to invest it into my VTuber thing, or do I want to invest it in, like, something else? So, to be honest, like, I'm probably not going to be live streaming too much more. Just, like, preparing you guys for that. Because I actually do want to focus on, like, doing my own thing. And then I could, like, potentially show it on YouTube. Like, if I actually do end up doing more writing, I could do that instead. And every now and then I can continue streaming StarCraft. But part of me also wants to play it off camera. It's, it's a lot harder to play when you're, um, trying to talk and shit. Although part of the reason I wanted to, like, show it is because I think it can be interesting to watch someone try to get good. And even though I've been playing this game a lot, like, I have a lot of moments where I just kind of stop playing. It's very hard to, like, maintain interest. Me personally, but anyway. But this game can be fun. It can be very fun and very satisfying. I'm not trying to downplay it or nothing. It's just... You gotta be in the right kind of mood, the right kind of mindset. And you gotta be prepared to lose. Is like an important thing. Because if you go into it expecting to win, you're gonna get disappointed. Like, I'm smurfing and I'm... <laughs> I'm still, like, getting my ass kicked. Boots, you're pregnant. What do you do? Step one, give birth. Step two, devour. Devour. Dude, imagine... How would I even give birth? Oh, God, I'm just imagining it. Imagine giving birth through your dick. I mean, if you're pooping it out, it might not be too bad, but... <laughs> God damn, the hemorrhoids is going to be even worse than usual. I'm going to need fucking three times as much ass cream. <laughs> you 
You could always do food reviews? Oh, hell no. Nah. I mean, if it's like me reacting to different beers, then like maybe, but the idea of like sitting in a car, eating a cheeseburger, not a fan. I I've seen a couple of those videos and it's always like fat people. <laughs> that weigh like 500 pounds. It's just, I don't Okay, they're just eating the burger and just stuffing it down their gullet. Okay, Booty tries it, unironically, as a series. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on, like, whether or not the food's interesting. Like, if it's, like, foreign food, then a food review could be cool. I think. But if it's just, like, generic shit that you can get anywhere, like, what's even the point, dude? Sometimes I watch, like, Asians react to American food. Because it can be cool to, like, see how people from a different culture and, like, different standards for food, like, react to, um... American food or food from other countries in general. And obviously it could be interesting in the case of America as well.